With every adventure, a real story is told. From the middle of Lake Superior to inland waters and beyond. Join us as we capture imagery through a different lens. The story isn't about us. We are simply the ones who get to tell it. On the ice or on the open water, each trip is a journey worth sharing as we strive to highlight our resources, but also respect them. From pike to panfish, trout, walleyes, and more, we travel the region to bring you new content, real experiences, and hopefully a desire to venture off the ordinary path. Season two of Superior Angling starts now. Good morning from the Bay of Green Bay, here with buddy JJ, going after whitefish today. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day. As you can see, the sun's coming up. Uh, we're fishing out out of Sturgeon Bay, out on the Bay of Green Bay. We're fishing anywhere from 60 to almost 90 feet today. So it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna really stack the fish up today. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be a change. Deep water and no lake trout. I might get a little shaky, but <laughs> these whitefish should be fun. They should be a good change of pace, and it's almost like crappie fishing, you know, except you're catching two or three pound fish. Right, and the, the, the cool thing about it is, is you're reeling them up from 90 feet of water. So you get a lot of time out of the rod. You know, it's not like you're fishing an yeah. inland lake where 15, 15 feet of water and the fish is up. You got a lot of play out of the rod. It's a really technique specific bite and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to it. Beautiful, beautiful day. We got some warmer temps. It's nice. It's, it's good. We've been dealing with a lot of cold temps lately, so this is a nice change of pace. <laughs> yeah, the ice is beautiful and it's going to be a great day. Really good solid ice and you've had good ice this year all year. Yeah, huh? actually this year is probably one of the nicest ice years I've ever seen really? uh, guiding up here in almost 10 years. That's super nice cool. flat and uh, not too many shoves, a couple little cracks, but uh, it's pretty much lock and load, hammer down. Yeah, yeah, driving out here, we could go 40 miles an hour. So I mean, yeah. that was, <laughs> that's, that's nice for a big body of water like this. Cool, well, let's get after it, yep. bud. You have 33 years of memories in this house. The most valuable things, you will ever own. And that is why we exist. Holden Insurance, an official supplier of the silver lining. Offices in Duluth, Superior, Ashland, Spooner, and Hayward. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. When the temperatures drop, the deals rise at RJ Sport and Cycle. Shop our great selection of Arctic Cat snowmobiles and take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months and rebates up to $2,500 on 2017 and previous models. Purchase any Yamaha snowmobile and get rebates up to $2,000 on 2017 and prior models. We sell trail riding sleds, ice fishing machines, mountain sleds, crossovers, youth models, and much more. All right, right away this morning, we're just going to jump in the house here, get the Markham set up and try to pluck off a couple of these fish. But later in the day, once that sun gets up, we'll probably move around a little bit. But right now, jump in the warm house and catch some whitefish. Eat me. Oh, they're down there. Well, I'm tart. Get these ones off bottom here. Current's really ripping today. And you know, the thing with the whitefish is because they're in the trout and salmon family, they really I found over the, the past couple of years here, they really relate to that current. You know, if you have a really steady current, yeah, yep. they, they t tend to be a little more aggressive. But yeah, it's like you're in such deep water, you gotta almost look at current as structure, you know? Yeah, and I think my problem I'm having here is I'm just trying to get adjusted to this bottom here, because a lot of time when you're fishing this current, you get that line bow in it. Yep. And the t technique that we're doing here is you're really just kind of using that slack in your line to your advantage. Okay. And that dropper hook is kind of when you slack it, you're letting that dropper fall. Yep. And what that does is the fish kind of key on that and they'll come up to it. And as you're bouncing it upwards, they'll come up underneath it and hit it. Okay. Okay. 
So you're kind of running a, a Swedish pimple with the dropper right yep, now. Yep, just, just a gold spoon with a little number six VMC hook up top. Yep. Very basic, and that's kind of what I tell people is when you're white fishing is just try to keep it as basic as you can. You know, yeah, a lot of times yeah. people have almost looks like a Christmas tree down there with all kinds of stuff painted <laughs> on it. And keeping it very basic, I've found really can be very effective. Yeah, yep. There we go. There we go. Stick with me. Oh, I got him yet. You got him. And you, like I said earlier, this is such a technique-driven bite. It, it almost becomes so repetitious that <laughs> what I what I tell people is you're kind of just looking for that irregularity. As you're constantly pounding that bottom, you'll feel, in a sense, dead weight. And that's typically a fish. You know, they're such light biters. They're kind of like a crappie almost. They just have a paper mouth, nice even reeling, and uh, they come right up. Like I said, you can just see this rod just pounding. That's the fun part of fishing in, you know, almost oh, sure. 90 feet of water. Yep. It's a long way up. Let's kind of tuck it up here. There he is. Green Bay Whitefish, That's front and nice center. Fish. That's a nice fish. Yep, and you can see that little VMC hook popped him right there in the front lip. Oh, yeah. And I just like using a single hook just because Sometimes those treble hooks, they got such a round profile on the bottom that they can't fit it in their mouth as well. And you can sometimes uh, lose the hook set on them. But I'm gonna let this one go. This is kind of your bread and butter size with that 17 inches, great quality fillet off of them. And whitefish, they're one of those universal fish that you can really fry up any way. There we go. Right on bottom. It's typically where they hang out. You know, sometimes you'll see some suspended ones. Yep, yep. But by the time you reel up there and go after them, you know they're gone. Right. Let's get a double here. That one hit me pretty good, and this is just on a on a jigging wrap with a couple you know, plastic fake waxies on the treble hook. Yeah, and one of the things I always tip mine with is I always use those artificial wax ones. Yep. Just because when you're fishing this depth, when you use the real ones, if you get robbed, it's just so much up and down <laughs> It's time. a long ways up. Yep. You, know, you spend more time going up and down the ladder than actually where you need to be. Exactly. Oh, Look at that. Lake Michigan Whitey. Caught that one on the back hook. Look at that. <laughs> that is fun. These are such cool fish. Hello. And you know, you, the cool thing about whitefish is even though you're catching them out of almost 100 feet of water, they have the ability to decompress their air bladder. Yeah. So yep. they can just swim right back down the hole and that burping sound you hear is, is them uh, actually purging their air bladder. Okay, okay. Kind of like the same thing a trout does. Right, sometimes they need a little extra help, but. There you go. There we are. Just kind of pounding it right off the bottom. It's kind of funny. I mean, on Lake Superior, a lot of our whitefish are suspended, but these ones are right on bottom. I mean, I'm seeing a few suspended fish, but it's tough because there's so much current, it's hard to see your bait. And by the time you reel up there and try to find yourself, you're, the fish are gone. So right now it's just kind of paying off to target these fish right on bottom. This guy's giving up a good fight. <laughs> that is so much fun, so much fun. And I mean, you can go a day and catch 50, 60, 70 of these, you know, there's just no stopping point in how many you can catch and they bite all day long, which is, which is the fun part about it. That's a good, that's a good fish. <laughs> fun. There he goes. Goodbye. See you later.
Ooh. Good one, huh? Could this be something other than a whitefish? Yeah, I'm guessing this is a I'm gonna reel up and get out of your way. Good old pout because unless I mean it could be a big whitey if I I don't know. He just put on the brakes though. Good old Lingcod. <laughs> We've eaten good yet. then, huh? <laughs> I'm guessing it is. All right, there's my leader. I don't know what we have. What kind of face is gonna pop up out of here? You see it? Is it a whitey? Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's the culprit. That shows you they're down there swimming around your baits, bumping into it. It's actually quite, you know, one of the cool things about this whitefish fishery is is is, is just the quantity of quantity of fish that you can catch in. It's really good for you know kids and people oh, heck that have yeah. been ice fishing to kind of put in a a good mindset of what ice fishing can all be about, you know. There's oh, plenty oh. of action. Oh, yeah. nice and warm in the otter fish houses. Yep. So it really kind of can plant that seed of ice fishing uh, for those people who've never done it. And I mean, that's the thing about it. It's an all-day bite. It's not like you have a peak hour window in the morning and then you're dead for eight hours. Because that's when people get bored, especially kids, you know. Exactly. And, and the beauty of this is, is it's like, like I said, it you can get up at eight o'clock, come out here and catch some fish all day. Yep. And be off the ice by two, three o'clock. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, that's and that's. I mean, it's, and it's fun. I mean, they're you know one to two, three pound fish too. It's just, it's a blast. It's cold outside. Thick gloves, kind of wet, but your house is nice and cozy because we're still out there. Any time, any temp. Superior Fuel Company. Local, safe, honest. We offer price protection plans that put you first. For the right way to buy propane, call us and find out. Superior Fuel Company. You have our name on it. Everything you care about is in this house. Things you just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Holden Insurance, an official supplier of the Silver Lining. Offices in Duluth, Superior, Ashland, Spooner, and Hayward. When the temperatures drop, the deals rise at RJ Sport and Cycle. Shop our great selection of Arctic Cat snowmobiles and take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months and rebates up to $2,500 on 2017 and previous models. Purchase any Yamaha snowmobile and get rebates up to $2,000 on 2017 and prior models. We sell trail riding sleds, ice fishing machines, mountain sleds, crossovers, youth models, and much more. Take control on ice this winter with the Markham Technologies PanCam camera system. This all-in-one underwater camera transmits video via Wi-Fi to your cell phone, tablet, or other mobile device, giving you increased visibility and awareness to the fish that swim below. Compatible on both iOS and Android platforms, simply download the Markham PanCam app, connect to the camera, and setup is complete. Let the PanCam do the work outside as you control, record, and view from the warmth of your fish house, up to 300 feet away. Markham Technologies, your leader on the ice. Here we are. Again, it just pays us to kind of rock it right off bottom, kind of like you're saying. Yeah, changing. you know, it's 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 almost kind of you get almost kind of put you to sleep here doing this repetitive <laughs> motion and then all of a sudden you feel some weight and weight, you set the hook set the hook and whitey on game on hopefully we can get this one on the ice yeah 75 feet to get off you know it's, it's long, long ladder way, to climb long way up just gonna take them slow Nice, they got mouths where your hook is usually going to sink through their lip, unlike a you know trout or whatever, where that hook just kind of sticks on their skin. Setting the hook in a two by four. Yep. 
Ooh, yeah. that's a jumbo. That's a good one. Interesting enough, right on the back hook of the jig and wrap. That's a good one. These fish are just so firm and solid, you know? Yeah, the whitefish fishery here in Green Bay is, is really getting healthy. You know, the whitefish, yeah. they came over from the lake just because their natural food prey was depleted. Yep. And they actually started feeding on an invasive species, the round goby. Okay. Yep. So they've kind of reestablished their home here. They're great yeah. spawning success in all the Menominee, Peshtigo, yeah. Fox Rivers, and they're here to stay. Yeah, yeah, and they're, they're fun. I mean, fishermen love catching them. Maybe we'll keep them good for dinner, huh? Would that be a good one? Yeah. Yeah. He looks good for the grease. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Whitey. Picked it up and he was just there. I can't wait to get the underwater camera down here. It's gonna be cool for It's actually pretty unbelievable when you see the density of fish oh, down there. I just, just, you can't even imagine. You know, there's days where the action is drop your jig down, bring it up, and the fish is on. In the fish, yeah. And then there's days like today where you know you have to fish. I'm gonna get out of your way. I don't know if I have this guy hooked weird or not, but he's giving me a run for my money right now. I hope I can run away from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the water's all yours. He's at 40 feet. I see him on the graph. Now he's coming up pretty easy. Well, 20 feet. Put on the brakes. It's a long, fun fight. Come on. Can hear him. Oh, that's a jumbo. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Another one for the grease. Yes, indeed. Right on the front hook of the jig and wrap this time. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, whitefish is one of the most versatile fish that you can can fry up. I mean, it's yeah. pan fry, deep fry, bake them, smoke them. Yep. You know, there's over 100 ways you can do them. So yep. it's, it's a lot of fun to have a fish that you can do a lot of things with. Oh, for sure. And it's really delicious meat too. But Beautiful white meat. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, they're fun. Kind of wide bones, kind of like a pike, but you take those out and you're yep. eating good. Yep. And yeah. it's good eating. <laughs> oh, for sure. No doubt. That is cool. one hit me good there's a bunch of them down there you can see them on the graph and what these whitefish do is kind of swim in school so there'll be you know it'll be five ten of them all together and they just kind of roam around so you know you might not have fish for five minutes but then the next minute you're gonna have a ton of them yeah this feels good this is on that 36 inch medium mojo rod I initially I thought this rod is gonna be a little bit too heavy for these fish but it's not it's perfect we're using a little bit heavier of a lure to stay more vertical with this current. And it's working out really, really well using braided line, keep our stretch down. That's a good Lake Michigan whitefish right there. Look at that. <laughs> Mr. Whitey, they are strong. Fish! There's just a pile of them on the bottom. And that's fun because when you start to graph them on the bottom, you know they're going to hit you. And kind of something to talk about is they're not, you don't want to like, you know, trout fishing, you want to make a trout chase your bait. These you really don't. Um, they're not going to race up off bottom and chase you all around like a trout does. So it's almost like you graph them, kind of just hold your rod tip still and just kind of barely wiggle it and wait till you feel like a tick. And then that's when they're going to bite. So just kind of getting your bait in front of them and holding it there accounts for the best success. This feels like a little better one. There's the leader. I can hear it. Oh yeah, that's a big fish there. Look at the size of that one. That is awesome. That's such a cool, cool fish. You can hear them decompressing. I mean, 
these fish live a lot of their lives in, in water, you know, from a 200 feet to 80 feet. So they're not, they gotta, they gotta adjust their air bladders when they come up. That's a, that's a good one there. Got some shoulders. I mean, it's just like crappie fishing though, but you know, these fish are one to three pounds. That's fun. That is super, super fun. We have our LX9 we've been using as a flasher, but we're gonna stick that camera down there and see if we can see these fish. I'm thinking we should be able to see down there pretty well. It's deep, but these markums are, are pretty good. And it's gonna be fun to, oh. Swing and a miss. It's gonna be fun to watch these fish bite. I always say when you watch them on an underwater camera, they're like piranhas. Yeah, isn't they, that fun? Uh, they just are down there swimming around. They look like little sharks. Yep, oh, totally. Look at look at it. I'm just pounding bottom right now. Look at you kind of creating a little commotion down there. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to he's trying to see it to pin it. Yeah, they really like that. There you go. There go. Hooked up, and I just saw the fish on the camera. <laughs> Did the you flash, see them? Yeah. The flash of the fish. Oh, funny. Man, there's a big school of them down there right now. And you know what we're doing here is we're just started really working that bottom and we can see we can see Grant's bait, but my bait it must be so far in the foreground, but we yeah. can see all that silt. Yep. Oh he just bit me. Did you see that? Yeah, I, I, all I saw were yep, yep. flared gills. Yep. They robbed it you. definitely seems like the more silt you kick up. I will say this this past hour here, it's really kind of become a game of finesse. Yep. Yeah, it has, and maybe downsizing to something like you have on right now. You teach yourself so much by using an underwater camera that we have here on our LX9. I mean, it's you pound the bottom, and it, you know these fish are almost curious as to what's going on, so they swim over there. I mean, there is one time where I accidentally the camera cord slipped out of my hand. The camera fell to bottom, and the camera head hit bottom, kicked up a bunch of sediment, and within a half second a fish was there looking at what was going on so it kind of pays with these white fish to you know pound bottom with your jig a little bit and then just kind of hold it dead still and wait for them to come and then they'll eat it and then you set the hook on them but it's not as big of boulders as i expected down there there's a lot of silt and you know like fist sized boulders but and that underwater camera also shows you like how these fish just come through in waves like you'll have 10 of them there and two minutes later there'll be nothing and then a little while longer, you're gonna have fish again. So you just gotta be patient and kind of sit them out. When the temperatures drop, the deals rise at RJ Sport and Cycle. Shop our great selection of Arctic Cat snowmobiles and take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months and rebates up to $2,500 on 2017 and previous models. Purchase any Yamaha snowmobile and get rebates up to $2,000 on 2017 and prior models. We sell trail riding sleds, ice fishing machines, mountain sleds, crossovers, youth models, and much more. At Wittis Trailer Sales, it's our mission to offer you the best inventory at the lowest prices possible. Conveniently located in Esco, Minnesota, we sell all your hauling needs from tractor trailers to enclosed trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors and side-by-sides in the area. Did we mention we also sell Argo ATVs? Our dedicated service team is here to take care of all your repair needs. Stop by and enjoy friendly service and sales for all your parts, accessory, and trailer needs today. Mr. Whitey, I don't know. You gonna start fighting Whitey or what? There he goes. All right, now he's realizing he's hooked. He didn't know what was going on. I guess I went either if I was 90 feet below the surface and started getting pulled up. And the key is find these find these reefs out here. They're easily, you know, you can easily find them on a Navionics chip or on your phone or whatever mapping device you use and just fish the edges of these reefs and you're going to see a bunch of other houses lined up along the edges but just kind of find a spot i like to be all on our own that's kind of how we like to fish but you got to be on the edge of these reefs you can't be up on top and you can't be in the basin because what these white fish do is just roam the edges <laughs> he almost got a free ride back down Look at that. That is fun. Fun, fun, fun. 
All right, although we didn't get a fish outside much at all today, just because it was nice and comfy in the otter, we're just gonna show you kind of the break that we were fishing on. Um, we'll drill a hole. So right here is kind of more of the top. It's 70 feet right here. And then kind of up in here, it's kind of the plateau. So 50, 60, 70 feet. And then here it starts to go. So we just walk a little bit this way. Let's drill a hole right here, for example. There's a lot of ice. So that first hole was 70, here's 74. We were fishing in the house in 75, 76, 77 ish. So that was right here. And then we kind of here, we kind of slide off this reef. I mean, we can pop a hole right here. So that house, you know, as we said, is 75, 76. This here is 83. And then as we work this way, it drops off even more into the main basin. So, so it just keeps dropping off. And right here we have 94. So that's where you want to be is right on the edge of where it goes down because that's what those whitefish, they're kind of just cruising the sides of these reefs out here. And I mean, you can see all these lines of ice houses. I mean, they're not in the line just for a random reason. They're there on purpose and that's to be on the edge of these breaks. So that's kind of where you want to be situated out here. It's proven it works and that's where you want to be. Jason, those whitefish, they bite all day long like that. I mean, there's nothing else like it. This entire day is fishing them out of that deep water is some uh, great fun through Yeah, this. Yeah, and it's fun watching them on the camera and I mean, it's fun to watch them and how they react to your bait and just the amount of fish down there. Right, I think, I don't think there was one minute that there wasn't at least no. one fish on the screen. I know, it just blows your mind how many fish, how many you know white fish are swimming around on these edge of these reefs. I mean, it's just incredible, incredible. Well, no, that was definitely a fun day. Yeah, that was great fun. day and it was fun having you down. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.